pegar? Are you ready, Carla? Yeah, I've been oh, ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, so hi, my name is Marima Avalera. I'm a second year urban studies major. Um, I'm currently a past intern and I'm running for career development vice president. Um, education has always been an important aspect of my upbringing. In my family and in many other traditional Filipino households, education is seen as a necessary tool for a successful future. But being the eldest in my family, I had to constantly figure out things on my own specifically the entirety of the college application process. I could never ask my parents for help because they weren't familiar with the, ed the college education system here in America. So instead, I turned to my peers, my teachers, and my counselors. But in high school, I quickly learned that excelling in school is not enough. You need the extracurriculars, you need the experience. Grades don't get you the job, experience does. Now, I'm not implying that grades don't matter, but that success does not stem from grades alone. A main objective of PASS is to increase representation of Filipino and other minorities within the workplace, but you need to be a competitive candidate in order to excel. If elected as CDVP, I will encourage general members to be proactive in their future career goals. That is never too early to start, whether that be interning, volunteering, or simply developing a new skill set. I want to empower members within this community to seek opportunities and experiences that unearth and enhance our capabilities and talents. I want general members to return to PASS, not only because of the family they find within it, but also because they will continually, continually learn something new, whether socially, academically, or professionally through workshops, programs, and guest speakers. I want to give general members the support that I didn't have as a freshman in college, back when I was completely clueless in regards to the choice of my major. I didn't know, so I kept asking, and eventually I found my answer. I believe that I am a qualified candidate for this position because I do not simply adhere to the belief of constantly improving yourself, but I have personally taken the measure to do so. In high school, I was a board member on ASB for two years. For my junior year, I held the position of senator, and for my senior year, I held the position of vice president. As vice president, I consistently communicated and collaborated on various projects with administrators, students, parents, companies, teachers, and local organizations. Through this experience, I overcame my fear of public speaking and strengthened my ability to interact and collaborate with various individuals in different settings. In addition, I enrolled in internship search, a course under the Career Center, which informed me about the meaning of professionalism and the tools to succeed in career development. The greatest form of success stems from a person's motivation to succeed. I want to be that catalyst that ignites the willingness for self-improvement, and I want to remind general members that there is a family that will support them every step of the way. If elected, my intended theme for PACS is to define is to limit. This quote by Oscar Wilde is a quote that I live by, pushing me to define my boundaries and reminding me that the only limits I have are the ones that I create. There are endless possibilities of what we could be and for others what they could have been, but we will never know such possibilities if we always choose to limit ourselves to what is comfortable, convenient, or easy. The most difficult obstacles that we face are always the most rewarding ones. <laughs> 